Oh, yeah, not too bad. Good. Mm. We've had some great calls in the group the last couple of days. It's been really good, those, those morning and evening calls for Sage. We've just been able to really hit some great, great truths with everybody. Oh, that's good. Yay. Yay. Uh, Okie dokie. So, how are you? I'm good. I have been so busy, it's ridiculous. Yay! Is that business wise or just personal wise? Both. So, obviously, because we've got the kids home at the moment, it's been incredibly busy. Mm -hmm. Um, Work, oh my God, it was so ridiculous last week. It was so busy. Mm. Um, And then all my reps, colour companies, product companies and everything that I use, they're all doing like Zoom conferences and classes and everything. So I've been like jumping onto heaps of them, which is really, really good. Oh, brilliant. This is great. I've had a lot of time because I've been doing all of them, but that's okay. That's good. That's productive. Yeah. Hmm. I know that that's good for you. I mean, it's keeping you productive, keeping you moving. Yeah, um, and it's keeping my mind busy. Mm-hmm. Which I'm glad about. Yes. I'm just still looking into, like, business stuff. Okay. So I haven't been able to find anything business-wise that... I can sort of connect with and that'll help me, but that's okay. Yay. There's like well, a mean, lot of pro- progression, right? I mean, just always the yeah. next step. Yeah, there's like a lot of business stuff out there, but I really want some, like one that's really specific to hair salons. Yes. And like mm-hmm. growing them and all of that. So have you got any people that you really look up to in the industry that do that sort of work? I've got a few, but they don't really do, like, the business side of things. Oh. Like, I follow, I don't know if you know of her, but her name's Kira. She owns Trends on the, like, on the Gold Coast and Brisbane and a few other places. Mm. Brindle, Brisbane. The and name the doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. So, I love her work. Like, just everything she does, she's really, really good. She's been in the industry for, like, 15 years and she's got three salons and it's huge and so I really admire that but she doesn't do like business coaching stuff. Could you reach out to her and ask the questions? I have um, but yeah she only, she's got a, how old is she now, a one year old, sorry. She used to do more before she had her baby and then now that she's had her baby she's obviously more focused on that as well as the businesses but yeah she's not doing as many classes traveling around Australia as much like she used to like I've been to one of her things before that was really good but yeah she sort of stopped all of that for now. Hmm. Okay well then maybe now might be a time to just maybe send her a couple of questions and see if you could book a zoom call with her. Yeah that's a good idea. So, uh, how are you going with balancing your your food, your environment, all of that sort of stuff? Yeah, my food has been okay. I've been a bit naughty. Um, I haven't been sticking 100% to it. Um, but I'm feeling good. I haven't been sick in ages, which is really good for me. Wonderful. Yes. Um, and I think definitely eating regularly is helping. So Wonderful. I have definitely, if I don't always have three meals a day, I generally have like two really big meals. Good. And so do you feel like your weight has balanced out? You were concerned about that a while ago. It's still up there, yep. but it's starting to sort of subside. But I've been really slight with the exercise as well, which doesn't help. 
Right. Okay. So knowing your current lifestyle and your current climate and what's going on for you at the moment, what would you like to achieve at the moment? I need to motivate myself more to exercise. Exercise. What does that need to look like? Oh, getting off my butt and actually doing it instead of sitting there going, I should do it and keep putting it off like I do. Hmm. Okay, I know, so, I'm my own worst enemy. I'm really aware of that. Yeah, but cool. I don't know. I just, I lack the motivation, which doesn't help. But that's my own fault. I say, where do you think the lack of motivation is coming from? Because it's easier to sit there and play with the kids or sit on the TV and watch the TV than it is to get up and actually exercise. Okay, and why do you want to do the exercise? Because that makes me feel better. I feel better in my body. Okay, and what's that going to do for you? Happy and more energetic. Right, and then what's that going to affect? Uh, my outlook on things. And is that affecting you at the moment? Uh, not really, because I am quite busy mentally, so I don't believe that, like, I'm negatively looking at things anymore yeah but yeah i could definitely be doing more right right so you want to change your outlook it's not affecting you too much because you are busy so you're motivated in your work life because it, why because it's easier to focus on work than to focus on me mm, why do you think that is uh, because I don't have to look at myself or think of myself. I don't have to think about how I feel about things. Right. And, and how, Hey Katie. And so not focusing. So focusing on work's easy because you're not having to focus on yourself. Why do you think that's a thing for you? Um, Oh, I don't know, because I like to take care of pe other people and look after other people and think about other things. I don't like focusing on me. I never really have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just easier to focus on other things. Okay, what do you think? Why do you think that is? Um, deep down, I don't think I've ever truly been happy with me. Okay. Maybe. I could be wrong. <laughs> Well, feel into that. Does that feel true for you? Sorry? Does that feel true for you? Feel into that. Is that actually making you feel any emotions right now or are you just speaking words? Um, yeah. I mean, I do like myself, but there's a lot of things that I don't like about myself. Right. What do you like about yourself? Um... My creative side, my passion, that sort of thing. Right, and what don't you like? A lot. Okay. I don't like the anxiety that I feel all the time. Mm -hmm. That really gets on me, and I know that's all work on myself. Um, I feel I can be very, very selfish which frustrates me, but it's easier to be selfish. What does selfish look like to you? Explain that. Um, not giving everyone everything that I could be giving. Like, Why do you need to do that? I mean, I don't need to. It's just I feel I have to. And why, why, why do you feel you have to? Because I'm a mother and I'm a wife. Yeah, and then what does that mean? That I should really put them before myself, which I don't always do. Why do you think that? Um, because I feel like I give so much of myself to them that then I want to take some back, but then it's like it's a vicious cycle because I feel like I'm not giving them enough, but then I feel like I'm giving them too much. So if I could recap on some notes I've just taken. 
you want to have more time and motivation for your own exercise because you understand that when you exercise it helps you to feel better happier and have a greater outlook on things you find it easier to work focus on your work rather than focus on yourself and you've never really truly been happy within yourself you're full of anxiety you know that you work well but you feel selfish in the fact that you don't give enough to everyone else and yet it seems like you're not giving enough to yourself do you remember the saying when we fill our own cup we're able to give more yeah yeah so you, your goal at the moment is to feel more motivated to do exercise, which we know will then help with the anxiety and all the rest of it, because then it ends up light, like layering pillars upon pillars upon pillars of grief and guilt and whatnot. So what do you think might be the easiest action for you to take to start filling your own cup so you feel better and have more capacity and cannot have so much anxiety? Be more selfish. Because when you're more selfish, you're able, and I'm not even going to say selfish, it's more about just self-preservation. When you're able to do that, you have more for them. Yeah. You're not giving from an empty cup. Diplomats. Can I, can I yes. just chime in? Yeah. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm just going to say, um, how, how old are your kids? Five and seven. Five and seven. So you've been a mum for a good seven years? Yeah. I've got um, Archie and Amelia, they're eight and 11, and I was a stepmum before that. And, and, you know, I spent years giving, giving, giving to all of them and all their needs and prioritising all their needs over mine. And, yeah, my end result was lots of anxiety, depression, lots of medication, taking chemical medicine, drinking, smoking, whatever, escaping, numbing myself to cope. And a few, the last couple of years, it shifted. And it's, you know, spending time for yourself is the best thing you can do. And I'm with Shana. You, you know, there's nothing selfish in you making time for you. It's difficult when you've got family and commitments and all the things that you do do, but you've got to find a way. Yeah, and that's the thing. I refuse to take the medication because I hate the way it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, you, you seem to be that's... motivated to work because it's in a constraint. And one thing we noticed with diplomats is that, and thank you, Katie, for sharing your beautiful heart. Um, that was spot on. Um, diplomats sometimes we're so used to giving and being and doing that falling into our actual natural flow can feel like we now have a void so when we step back same with this detox protocol right where de i'm detoxing at the moment our natural response is to seek out and try and find the things that give us the validation of our old feelings because that's what we're used to feeling so when we're shifting into a new paradigm and a new energy Sadly, diplomats and, and the, towards the center will get in our own way and try to find the things to create the old pattern. We try to find the ways of stopping our progress and going back to the feeling that we know. So knowing that it's always going to feel uncomfortable, hard and difficult is just natural. But diplomats, we just, we're like, well, where's the feeling? Where's the, like, how could I not be anxious? Or I might feel anxious and stressed because I'm trying to, um, facilitate my old energy and running on that adrenal fatigue and running on that high energy capacity. I'm trying to find all the things to fill that space. So that's because that's my norm. How could I be anything other than that norm? Right. Yeah. So then it really comes back to that embracing your pace. I can see the little hand popping up there. Yeah. <laughs> How can we come back to embracing your pace and going, right, well, if your work rigmarole looks like this, you need to find time for yourself. So looking in that rigmarole and that motivation, you know that in, in essentially the, the calmer your morning can be as a diplomat, the more energy and capacity you will have in the afternoon and the evening. So what is out of sync in the morning and what can we be doing in your morning to facilitate or at night time to facilitate a more calm morning so that your responses aren't so high? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely been working on the morning situation since we had that chat about really being organised. Mm -hmm. um, and so 
everything's done at night time. The only problem is I have is I'm trying to get ready for work, which means the kids have to get themselves ready for school. Mm-hmm. And that's the argument I have most days that get your school clothes on. Come on, they're already laid out for you. You need to get dressed, turn the TV off, stop watching the TV. Like how many times have I told you not to turn the TV on until you're dressed, you've had breakfast, your lunch is packed, which is all done for them. All they have to do is eat their breakfast put their clothes on and put their lunchbox in their bag. What could you do to make that more visual, more stimulating and more clear for them? And where is the, is it TV turned on via TV remote or button? Uh, TV remote. So I could probably take the remotes away so they don't grab that. I always forget to do that. I always say I'm going to do it, but I forget. (laughs) Um, But everything else is done. Like their clothes are in their room where they should be so they know where their clothes are their lunchbox is in the fridge ready to go their breakfast is there um so and is tv the reward um yeah so if they're ready and they've had their breakfast they can sit down and watch tv before they go to school as long as everything's done what could you do to create structure and and reward system so that's simple for them Take the remotes away so they don't have the access to it themselves. Yep. What else? Um, be more consistent with it. Yep. What about a visual for the kids to know what they have to do? Because kids forget. Could, they've got a three-second memory span, really, most of the time. <laughs> I could probably do that up like a chart of some sort so they can follow it every morning. Yeah. And then it goes... Tick, 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 TV remote. (laughs) Yeah. That way you know and they know. Maybe it might help. Okay. That's a good idea. I didn't think of doing something like that. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. And I mean, the other thing is, is you know this is going to happen every morning. So um, are you spending a couple of minutes before they get up to just ground yourself or take a few deep breaths? Yeah, yeah, they know. Um, so generally they're up before me um, or similar time, but they know I don't come out until I've done my sort of like deep breaths and all of that um, because I, I really need that. I'm not a morning person at all, mm-hmm. but I really need that calmness in the morning. I can't deal with anything until... I've sort of like laid in bed for a few minutes, done my deep breaths or written a list or and something. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. They're, and I think because I've always been like that, they're really aware that I come out when I'm ready. Um, they can't really, if they do come in, in my like wake up morning routine, then they get a cranky mum. Yep. 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 So they're well aware of that fact. Perfect. Um, so then when you come home in the afternoon, like looking at our day as a diplomat, we know what our, we need to know what our expenditure is going to be, but then also have a plan for the afternoon. So knowing when the kids, you're getting the kids, knowing when you finish work, knowing when dinner has to be on, what could you do the day before for dinner, these sorts of things. Um, being able to fit in a fitness routine in your afternoon, what is that going to take? Um, I mean, I know my routine. My routine's pretty good. Um, It's just I've actually got to do it, Mm -hmm. forcing myself to do it. What do you think? When do you normally do your fitness? What's the, where, where would that fit? So normally what I do is I, because most days I work until I pick the kids up from school. Mm -hmm. So Friday's the only day that I can't really do it and Thursdays generally as well because we've got gymnastics. So I normally get the kids home from school, we sit down, we do their homework and then I work out for an hour, half an hour, how much time I've got before I have to get dinner. Do the kids Um, need exercise as well? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they do it with me. Awesome. Otherwise I go outside and do it and they run around the backyard. Mm -hmm. Where does the demotivation come? What time? Um, generally around the same time I was doing really really good 
up until I got the shingles back in November. So when I got home from Queensland, I'd been doing it for a while before I went to Queensland. And then when I got back from Queensland, I was doing really good. And then I got the shingles in November and the motivation sort of lacked. Yep. And then after Christmas, I got into it. Yeah. And then I got sick and I lost the motivation again. So I find when I get sick, I lose the motivation and then I can't get myself into it. What do you think about if, I mean, because you've gone about your day, you're busy, 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 you go get the kids and then you sit down and do homework. Now, is there something you could change in that that would shift you from that stopping happening later? Like, because once you sit down and do homework, that would be slowing your momentum for the day, right? Sorry? Once you um, do the homework, that would be slowing you from your buzz of the day and yeah. slowing you down. Do you think maybe there's something you could change that would keep your momentum and then do that and, and have everything in a bit more flow to slow down later with the family? I mean, I could probably do it before I do the homework. I just find if we don't do the homework when we get home, then it's harder to get the kids back into it, like, later because they're tired, they're, they're starting to get cranky because it's getting later in the afternoon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But in saying that, my mum has been coming around to help with the homework and that doesn't happen till about 5 o'clock. So I could probably do it before they do the homework. I just, yeah. Okay. That, does that feel better to you? I think that would flow a lot better. Good. And do you... What could get in the way of that? Me. I'm my own worst enemy, and I'm, I'm well aware of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think you need to do to help support yourself through that? I can put the time as, timer on my phone for exercise, yeah. make sure I have that there. Mm -hmm. So then I know that's the time I need to go and do the exercise, regardless of if I can't be bothered or I don't have the motivation. Yeah. Sorry. So is there anything else that might get in the way? Um, if I have a issues with the kids, that's about the only other thing. But at the moment, Matt doesn't start work until five, so he can deal with the kids. So For really? there really isn't any reason. Yeah. What do you need to be accountable for this? Sorry, what do I need to be accountable for it? Yep. Um. I need to have a reward system for myself, I think. Great. Same as the kids. Like, if I haven't done my exercise, well, then I don't get to sit down and watch my show, which yes. is my weakness. TV is my weakness because it's my time where I zone out. It calms my anxiety. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, that's my relief. So if I don't do it, then maybe I don't get to sit down and watch my show. Cool. Okay. Okay. When do you think you could finish, when do you think you could get this created, the, the kids chart, having the, the reminder of the TV remotes being up and out of the kids' way? That'll probably have to happen the night before, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so definitely. when do you think you'll get clear and send me through a picture of your kids' charts and your reward system? Mm, what's today, Monday? I could probably have it done on Wednesday. Excellent. So, yeah, because school goes back next Monday. So that's when everything is a bit more strict again. Everything at the moment is so relaxed because we're on holidays. So yes. it's actually been better because I can get up and I don't have to rush and I don't have to worry so the mornings are a lot more relaxed which yep. I love but I also like the structure of the school day because it means then they're out they need the structure as well 
safety in a plan, right? Yeah. And rewards. I'm setting a reminder to you know how bad Shana's memory can be. Cool. To message you and find out. Yeah. Um, be kind on yourself. I know that you won't get it perfect every day, but then remember to be okay with that too. You're doing, we are all doing the best we can at the moment and that's all yeah. we can do. And see, I think with like the food and all of that, I'm really good with, I don't have a problem with that. And my lifestyle, I adhere to majority of what my profile says. Um, I just really, I'm my own worst enemy and I get in my way of myself a lot and so why know, are you doing this again i know it comes down to anxiety and i let it get on top of me where i shouldn't what and do you want to feel problem. what do i want to feel mm. um i don't want to feel the crushing pressure that i feel with it yep. and the it's being second guessed all the time and the nervous energy i don't like that feeling but then I don't like the feeling that the medication that I'm meant to take gives me. So that's why I look at other ways to get the it. Mm -hmm. Because, it's yeah, I just, I, I lived on medication for such a long time with my endometriosis that I don't like being on medication. I hate it. I hate popping pills. It's not good for your body. It's not good for anything and i understand they're meant to help but you can't tell me that that's not doing damage there's always a repercussion exactly the nervous energy and the second guessing from an observation point of view most of those sorts of things come from within so it's finding ways of creating the calm and the balance within yourself to then be able to recognize oh i'm feeling nervous what's out of whack i'm second guessing myself what's out of whack because it's always going to be there these things never go away sadly depression anxiety it's actually a natural part of life these days which is sad to say but it is true yeah. we are all having some format of these things so for you it's throughout the conversation we've had it seems like we just need the structure and the safety within the structure so you understand this is a diplomat thing so you understand the parameters of the expectations upon yourself and what energy you need to be giving throughout that time yeah. so planning and structuring so you've got that nurturing safety net of knowing what you need from yourself is where the nurturing comes in yeah so i think we just need to get a bit clearer every time that anxiety comes back up and every time that second guessing comes back up i would love if you would be open to i would invite you to every time that comes up see that as an alarm bell that you're not structuring or planning or honoring your time frame somehow mm-hmm it's a diplomat thing we do. And maybe you're taking on too much. Yeah. So what can be dropped? What can be simplified? There's a diplomat thing. It's we will always, diplomats will become overwhelmed. We have too much going on. Like legitimately, I said to Angela earlier, I feel like I'm dealing with sardines today. I was in tears before we actually got on this call. And I'm happy to admit that I'm a human too, right? Literally today feels like I'm sardines. I'm meant to be doing five other things at 10 times. And then St. George called me just before this call and I'm going, oh, I just can't do everything. Right. Be okay with that. Yeah. Okay. You will have those moments, but then recognize it and go, okay, I know I'm not coping right now because I have too much going on. What's, and this is a great one for every single person on this call. What do I have to do right now? How can I get clear on exactly what I have to do? What is things I would like to do? And then what are the things that I can actually do later? And get clear on that. Just quickly check in with yourself. And even like I have five notepads around me all the time. I bring two of them in here and I carry, and I have a couple of them at home. So when I'm having a panic attack or an emotional outburst, when I'm freaking out, I have to sit there with my notepad and go, here's my list of today. It was, what do I have on? What are the random notes that I know I need to get done? What are things that are popping up throughout the next couple of minutes? So having those lists, you have to get clear or else you will stay in that anxiety and that will then lead to the depression and demotivation. But get clear on yourself. If there's something that you would like to do that you actually don't have to do right now, piss it off. 
sit with what really needs to be done right now. What's my next foot forward? What's my next foot forward? Does that feel a little more balanced for you or a little more clear as to when the anxiety pops up? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. And all awareness, we're never going to get it right all the time. It's just about creating that awareness. Yeah. And not judging it either. And having someone to voice that to. If you need to message me and, and go, Shana, I'm voice messaging you because I'm losing my shit. You need someone as a diplomat to be able to voice that to. Yeah. And no judgment, no judgment at all. Whoever that is, if it's not me, if it's someone you've got close to you that you can just go, I just need to vent to you. I've got Sage, who's a friend and a, and a, and a sister coach. And I'll go, you've got to hold the bucket for me. I just need to get this out. And as soon as I do, my own brain goes, oh, wait a second. Click, that's not so bad. Click, that could be done later. Click, and you will assimilate all of the stuff that's going on for yourself. Yeah. Anything else to be said there? Um, how does that feel for you? Yeah, good. Like I said, I'm definitely my own worst enemy. And then I judge myself too harshly as well, which is always my biggest problem. Stop judging yourself. No. Stop yeah. judging yourself. That's the hardest one for me. Mm. Do you think you could do in your morning practice? And this is something that comes very good for diplomats. And it's something that we resist a lot. Uh, a morning ritual of writing out statements. As in like positive I don't judge statements? Them. Yeah, or... yeah. But not just writing them out. It's more about waking up. And as you're waking up, it's actually, you can write them. I'm sometimes against that. It's more about feeling it. So in that morning waking phase, how do I choose to feel today? How do I choose my day to look about? And I'd love for you to date or fantasize about your day as you wake up right? Not writing it because writing just becomes this thing where the brain goes, I am not, uh, if you write down, I am not anxious or I am not unorganized. The brain goes, I am unorganized. I am anxious. Cool. Great. Got it. It doesn't okay. understand the word don't. So yeah. it's more about how am I choosing to feel in everything? Fantasize about your day. Cool. I know I've got this on. Oh my God, I've got so much on, but I know that once I do it, I'm going to feel this and fantasize about how your day is going to go. How's it going to turn out? What's it going to look like? Project yeah. your day with goodness. And then when you have the bad moments, go, oh, that's interesting. That's, I'm feeling really anxious right now and I'm judging myself. What's going on there? Yeah. You will judge yourself at first. We all do it. Yeah, definitely. Does that feel a bit better for you? Yeah. Yeah, I totally get that. Morning fantasy. More. <laughs> Maybe you might need to write it down once and write out your fantasy of how your days look. You know what mm -hmm. your days look like. You know how it feels to go through your day. Maybe through writing that fantasy, you might actually be able to be aware of the time of the day or the things that set you off. And I'd only want you to write that as an awareness piece. It's not, it's not a Bible. It's not a fail or succeed. It's just I'd love for you to create that dialogue to see what comes up for you while you're writing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. How long do you think it would take you to do one of those? Uh, not long. Not long? No. When would you like to submit that to me? When does that feel good? Could do it tomorrow before I go to work. Is that is that realistic? Yeah. Yeah. Great. And how about the other objectives we've put are they realistic does it feel realistic to be able to do the kids charts so that's something you actually want to do and the rewarding yourself system so that you get your exercise done yeah i mean i don't work on wednesday so i've got all day wednesday to be able to do that definitely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they feel like realistic things to implement yeah yeah Great. yeah i mean a lot of it i've already thought of but i didn't think of the chart Mm. I think that'll be really, really helpful so the kids know exactly what they have to do. Even just like a star system or something or a tick system and then they get a star at the end of it and then they get the remote. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Anything else pops up, let me know. Katie, how are you? Eating. 
Hi, hi. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, good. Just trying to sit in the garden, trying to cram everything into one hour, have a lunch break, see my family, eat food, deal with work, deal with a very difficult individual. Mm. Feels like everyone's in the same energy at the moment. Oh, it would be really great tonight at eight o'clock Queensland time. Sage and I will be talking about mindset. Mm -hmm. um, if you can make it, I know you've got a lot on. If you can, I think there'd be some really great nuggets out of that. Um, mm -hmm. Angela went through a fair bit of it this morning with Sage. Um, there'll be some really great nuggets that we could probably bring about with the negative thoughts that are going on, the negative situations that are playing out at the moment. Mm. Um, and then we're, we'll, we will have another one that we will be doing at the end of the week as well. I think Thursday we've, we'll, we'll set the dates tonight and, um, and do a post. But in it's the all group. time, Shana. Oh yeah. If this is all time, like I'm not with my kids now cause I'm mm. on this call mm. and you know, there are always nuggets. It doesn't matter what I tune into, whether I'm reading the magic book or tuning into this or listening to that. But mm. then where is the time just to be? Yes. You know, it's sort of like how many hours does one spend in one day learning about these things, then trying to apply them? Mm. I just find that, You know, I, I kind of want the full download, but things take a while to be integrated and understood. And then I suppose it's just trying to keep up with it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we absolutely. Did, we did tennis yesterday as an, you know, activity, family activity and exercise. And that was good. But my biggest downfall is probably... You know, I'm not following any regular exercise program okay. or the suggested ones. What would it look like for you to do that? What would it look like? What do you mean? How do you think you might be able to get a regular... What, what does a regular thing look like, a regular fitness program look like to you? It's just an area that I don't, I haven't been able to prioritise, you know, with. And finding that 45 minutes an hour a day, I just, I just don't know what, how, how and when I can. I don't know what, what it looks like. What if it wasn't so long? What if we just started with a baby step? Yeah, Before what, like you 20 finish. minutes or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a short one. I did a little 15-minute workout just the other day. Uh, that was a recorded Zoom one in the group. I can tag mm -hmm. you in that. Yeah, I probably I probably do. But then, you know, like I'm like, oh, well, once I've started, I kind of want to maximise as well. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, I think when you've got family and you've got other people's energy, you've got to, you've got to do your own thing, but you've also got to, sometimes it's determined by their energy as well. Yep. You know, I'm flat out motivating myself, but then I've got to motivate three other people half the time as well. Yep, I get that. I do get that. So what would be a really good outcome for you at the moment? What would be something that you would like? to shift or change right now? Oh, gosh, Anna. Let's go a small win. I want just a small win. For you, I don't want anything gargantuous because you have so much going on. I'd like to know what's a little win. Mm. Oh, God, so many. Um, well, I guess my question back to you is what's going to have a um, bit more of a positive impact. So I could stop drinking alcohol, like at the end of the day. Do you think that that benefits you? Is that nurturing you or harming you? I think it's harmful, mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to admit it. 
Why not? Well, because I kind of like it's an old habit that I like. Mm-hmm. You know, I know that's contradictory as well, mm-hmm. but it's funny how we will sabotage ourselves. But I'm, I'm, I'm very conscious that alcohol is toxic and that I was actually reading something. No, I woke up at 3.30 this morning and I got up at 4 and I've been up and now I, and then I was in the office at 8.30 and, you know. So I was doing stuff this morning, like all my good rituals. And, and you were up at 3.30? Yeah. And then um, I... Was um, that your alarm went off or you just woke up? No, I woke up and I heard a dog barking. I thought it might have been our dog, but it wasn't. Of course, it wasn't. Of course, it wasn't our little pup. But then I couldn't get back to sleep, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so my sleep pattern's very irregular. And anyway, I read this article because I knew I, I, I know there's a blog in me about not drinking alcohol and my to- what, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to know how toxic alcohol is. Mm. So that means I'm going to have to practice what I preach, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, so part of me goes, oh, but then that one glass is just nice, isn't it? But if mm. I just drop one glass, how different could my energy and my mindset and my everything be? Because alcohol is naturally a sedative and it actually drops us out of our energy frequency. And if we're talking energy, one mm. mouthful of alcohol takes you away from your connection to earth. Mm. One mm. mouthful completely Mm. detaches you from the universe and you Mm. go into a state of disconnect. Um, But is there something else you could do instead of having that one glass? I mean, you'd like to have a glass of something. Is there something else you could have that's more beneficial? Yeah, I suppose it's just to work out a nice, something that's sort of like that ritual that replaces that evening drink, that sort of kind of like, you know, I never really need more than one good glass, but it's more habit and ritual. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I replace it with something different or a different sort of mocktail or what do you think? Um, Well, soda water is really great at um, sedating and calming endomorphs. Mm -hmm. The, The carbon in it actually assists us in calming down and chilling out so i have soda water quite frequently with lime oh, okay. or orange or your essential oils honey throw some mm. essential oils in there mm. okay that's one thing how heavy is your evening meal as a as an endomorph how heavy are your evening meals if you're not sleeping well well i've tried to lighten it right up yep are you still having I a really protein try to have a bigger lunch and a lighter meal but you know again I was on holidays with the kids and we're ordering pizza and different things and I'm just like oh and I don't know whether I should eat meat or not not at night time generally for diplomats it's just easier just don't diplomats and guardians just avoid it the the sleep is the hormones and when the body has got too much in the gut it slows our digestion and it will always mess with your sleep so the first question I ever ask an endomorph is how big are your dinners and how mm-hmm. stressed are your mornings? So at the moment, if you've got both of those things going on, can you see how maybe there's a, a uphill battle that's being attempted? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So with that being said, where are some simple little wins that maybe, and you don't have to do them every day. You could be every second day. Where's some mm. small little wins that we could set out for you? Well, I definitely think it has to be that evening drink has yep. to be replaced with soda water and I suppose if I experiment with some different flavours and mocktails and mm-hmm. you know I can make it a fun thing or do I just sort of like <laughs> I just drink water and flavour it and I, soda you know, water just... with your essential oils would be good because any fruits are going to be probably spiking your insulin at that time so soda water with uh, your oils would probably be the best concoction mm. yep yeah, I did a scan this morning, so um, I'll uh, I'll incorporate some of those that are needed. Awesome, awesome. Hmm. And what else could you be working on? Well, I do want this sort of element of fitness. I think food, you know, it's it's the same things. It's the food, it's the fitness. So, it's... when in your week can you fit a pocket? Let's let's just work. Would two pockets of fitness fit into your week? 
Well, I could do one session on the weekend and one during the week. What days would they be? Um, I don't know, like Tuesday, Thursday yep. and Saturday or Sunday. Yep, so, so you're going to go Tuesday or Thursday and a Saturday or a Sunday? No, I think I need to do something Tuesday and Thursday. And then I'll always do something on the weekend anyway. Yep. So you're going to go three days a week? Yeah, so I'll always do, you know, because it's, you know, whether I try and do a walk or tennis. But I need to do, I think I need to do one of my fitness programs or like a shorter version, as you say. But Yeah. So what, could, what accountability do you need to be able to do that? I don't know. Um, decide whether I'm going to do it morning, more before I go to work or when I get back from work. I will always recommend after work. Okay. All right. Well, that just needs to be one of the first things I do on a Tuesday and a Thursday. When you get home? Yeah. Yeah. Could you, what could you do to make sure you do that? Like, you know, sometimes they say when you're starting a new habit, it's like just putting your shoes on to get out walking. It's like, what's the thing that you need to do to make sure that happens? I think just change into my kit and see if anyone in my family wants to do it with me and then just go do it for half an hour, whatever it is. Perfect. For accountability, would you be willing to post some kind of a fitness selfie into the group? Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yay! Because you've got a lot of connector in you too. And I know that that would be like the community queen. Sinead, I'd love to see you pop your chart, a photo of your chart into the group and your reward system into the group. Just a photo of it. Yeah. And your personal story can come to me. <laughs> okay. Cool. Does that feel okay? Yep. Yep. So we can cheer each other on. You guys can cheer each other on as well. Okay. We are also contemplating, Sage and I were just talking today, because Angela, you're not on Facebook, we're actually thinking about creating a, so we do the call still, but for accountability, we're contemplating creating a WhatsApp chat purely for calls on, get on the call, here's the link. Shanae, your reminder is blah, blah, blah. Katie, your reminder is blah, blah, blah. And then Sage and I can jump in there and go, Oi, Katie, have you done it? Oi, Sage, have you done it? Oi, have you done this? How do we feel about that? What's WhatsApp? WhatsApp is a how many, how many All right, well, I'm going to go at this point because that's fine. I use WhatsApp. Just put me on the group, Shana. That's fine. I like Amazing. getting the reminders. Fine. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. How Thank many you. people are you talking on the, are you talking like five or six? Or are you talking yeah. like 20 or 30? Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks, Katie. Lovely to see you all. Sorry, got to run. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thank for you your very time. much. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for your time. Your garden's lovely. Yeah. Beautiful oh, thanks, Dal. Have a look. Have a look at the sunshine. Oh, it's so gorgeous. <gasps> oh, so jealous. Great. Where is she? It's a um, tree. Tamworth, New South Wales. Look at the blue sky. Oh, that's beautiful. Katie lives in the town that I was born. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I love weather. you and leave you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye, -bye. Mm. So we want to keep everyone accountable and we want to keep Angela involved because Angela's a beautiful spirit and my chat with Angela is constantly being filled with the most orgasmic, gorgeous food and creations and questions. And I think that everything that you contribute um, as a conversation, Angela, would be unbelievable to everyone in this group. Um, you are of great importance and you have so much to contribute. And I was talking to Sage just after the call earlier today and I said, look, I feel like Angela needs to be involved a bit more because you do, you are so beautiful at contributing and you have such perspective. Um, and so I think uh, just a quicker uh, way of communication with everyone would be great to be a part of a community would be great because there are a few more people in the other part that would be able to stay involved as well. Does yeah, that feel I, love, I love WhatsApp. I use it for everything. Perfect. Perfect.
And so, Angela, you got on the call earlier today. Thank you for being on a second call. Um, is there anything that's come up for you that you would like to converse about in this call? Well, I have the specific questions about the immune booster. Do you want to wait till after yeah. the call? Oh, okay. that's fine. Um, um, well, what Sage and I talked about mm -hmm. was um, fitness, you know, and as an activator, that's the number one uh, thing is movement. And that seems to be where my motivation falls down. And it's very strange, like, like both of both Katie and Shanae were saying uh, in their own situations, you know, it's like, I know it's really great. I feel really great, but I can't make myself do it. When I do it, I know it's great, but then I can't make myself do it. And that, you know, and for me, uh, a lot of it is when I'm sick, you know, when my gut is bad. When my gut is bad, I just, my life is bad. I mean, that's just kind of all there is to it. And uh, this last uh, eight or 10 days, my gut has been good. And so, um, you know, I've really gotten things together. Uh, there's, been to, uh, there's been a shift and um, that's one thing. I, don't, I haven't figured out all the reasons for this shift in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's one big one because I had like over the last three months, at least two months of that time was diarrhea, mm -hmm. you know, and I just, I just can't deal with it. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's all I can do is to get up and walk around for 12 hours and then go back, you know, and get back to bed really. But, um, also I think, uh, this whole, um, quarantine business, you know, we had, um, our president had said we would, we would go back to work or go outside or break the quarantine or whatever, you know, on April 4th. And then about the 1st of April, he said, no, it's going to be April 14th. Mm -hmm. And then about the 10th of April, he said, no, it's going to be April 27th. And now he has said, no, it's going to be until further notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, after we're in, we're going into the sixth week now. And I think the whole town, the whole valley, the whole 6 million people that are affected by this um, have kind of tried to hold it together the first week and the second week and the third week. And, and by now, by going into the sixth week, I, I think everybody has to admit to themselves that this is a lifestyle change. You better get with the program, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think for me, um, that was true too, although mine wasn't really drastic because I wasn't really upset about it in the beginning. It wasn't a big change for me, except I didn't get to do my tangle. Mm -hmm. All the time. My tangle lessons three times a week were canceled, and that's part of my fitness thing. That's part of my non motivation for fitness. It's like, oh shit, you know, I can't, I can't, huh. you know, if I could do my tangle, then I would just feel so much better, but I can't do it, can't go out. So, and is there any, because you're stuck at home, so they're right, it's a, it's a lifestyle adjustment. So, what are some things you could be doing? Is there some is there some online courses you could be doing in Tango using your computer to zoom in? Could you be watching YouTube videos? Well, you know, one of my teachers is such a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, this guy is just great. He has been sending a WhatsApp uh, video every single day since day one. Right. Since day one. And are you doing them? Every. Well, it's not a doing thing. It's just, uh, it's a tango video. It might be a singer. It might be um, um, the museum in Buenos Aires. It might be music. It might be a, a couple dancing or whatever. And I've tried to, there's so many things online and I have 
fitness videos up the yin yang, you know, and I've got my Pilates video, I've got my Kalinetics video, I've got... Okay, so then what can we do? Okay, so what can we do to create the motivation? What can you do to enjoy the process and create something that gives you... Because remember how ages ago you and I created uh, the idea around fitness in using the roll of a dice or pieces of paper in a hat or things like that to create that. You know what time you're best to be training. You're now in isolation, so you now have ample time. So before we were creating a structure around the fact that you had a busy life, you had to go out and do all of these things. So looking at all of that, coming back to simply, when should you be training? When do you want to be training? And what can you do to create the requirement well, or the fun what, of it? What I need is, is interactive. And I know that there's interactive... Uh, yoga classes and, and all that kind of thing. And uh, um, I called my happy dance teacher, um, which is a kind of a yoga, Pilates, stretching thing, and, um, and asked her if she was going to do, you know, it's been three weeks and I haven't heard anything from her. Everybody else is doing home zoom stuff you know mm -hmm. and and she said well we have we have everything at home we need um and i said well then why don't you do a class i mean my class with her was one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. why don't you do a class for me you mm -hmm. know i i i i would do via that. zoom yeah, yeah 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 and she hasn't called back and i don't understand it because everybody else in the entire city of Medellin, two and a half million people, everybody's doing Zoom classes on everything. I, so is there some other classes you could do? So if she's not communicating with you, let's drop that, forget that and move on to a new one. Maybe the universe is giving you a sign that it's time to find new things and experience new things. So what are some new ones that you can go and explore and sign up to and start doing that are interactive? I don't know. Um, they tell, I don't know of any specifically. Um, could you Google I, it? Yeah, I did Google something last week. I don't remember what it was. But uh, I couldn't find it. I mean, I could, I could hire, I could hire my therapist again. You know, I've, I've said she's like the best in the world. And, um, and she's doing Zoom consults. And, but she's um she's sixty thousand an hour and i don't want to pay sixty thousand an hour for three times a week you know i mean we could use up some of our sessions as fitness honey I've, i'm pt as well i've got all the equipment you've probably got if you wanted to you could use that as a couple of sessions if you wish to and we could do a 30 minute one and then i could go right now i want you to go and finish off by doing a trampoline circuit and and set you that and go right you got a trampoline circuit for five minutes to finish off or 15 minutes to finish off and stretch. And then I want to see you do the video tomorrow of another thing. And then we'll set a goal for your next day. That's the sort of thing we can do. That's something that I am now doing is personal training online. So there is that conversation too, which you've got. Um, there's always going to be a class or something to be done. Um, I know that I have my YouTube channel that I try and put a lot of my fitness videos onto as well. So you've probably seen some of those popping up, but if you want them to be live and interactive, then, um, I don't know how four, what 4 p.m. is your time there because Monday and Friday we do 4 p.m. classes here via Zoom and then four, four, well, what four time is it now? What time is it now? Now, holy crap, one, 1.30. 1.30 in the afternoon? Yeah. So it'll be another... What's so that? it's 10.30 p.m. here. Oh, God, no. Another three no. hours one in the morning that wouldn't work <laughs> no, no 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 i've heard of something i don't know if it'll be helpful to you or whether you could speak to maybe your tango instructor but there is a boxing academy here in adelaide that the guy because they can't come in and to the dojo and do their activities or i think it's um martial arts sorry um he has been creating challenges so every day or well, every second day, sorry, he does a challenge. And if these people don't meet it, 
then they all get punished and they all have to do, I mean, obviously it's a martial arts style. So they have to do like 150 push-ups or 150 sit-ups as a punishment. They all have to do it because one person didn't complete it. So I don't know if maybe you could talk to your tango instructor about maybe doing some sort of practice these steps. And if you don't do it, then you have to dance around with a broomstick or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I heard it's, of that the other day so and I hard. thought it was really good and keeping everyone in the class accountable for... To each other. Yeah, exactly, for doing it and to each other. Yeah. Yeah, we have a, a group tango class and the only thing that would be applicable to a person at home watching the screen would be the warm up exercises where you yeah. switch your ankles around and stuff like that. But to dance tango by yourself, you it's hard. Yeah. Well, you can't do it. I mean, the woman doesn't learn the steps. I mean, you ba learn some basic moves, but the only way I move is how he leads me to move. I have so is there another learn. dance or another something else that we could be looking at then? So if, if, yeah, if that's... I got, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I haven't been concentrating on trying to figure out tango. I'm trying to figure out anything yeah. except yoga is not... Uh, Yoga, I think I can find lots of, but yes. I don't. I don't know that that would truly be interactive because there might be like a hundred people. I mean, I do. I used to do a Sunday morning thing out at the lake when there were. Well, like I mean, people. the thing is, is that group classes will always be slightly interactive because you're doing it live with them. But if you want fully interactive, you'll have to book one on one with a coach doing whatever modality it is that you're looking for. So that's a definite thing to take into consideration. So, um, yeah, I think for you, it is figuring out whether you want to be doing a group class or whether you want to be doing a one on one and then really reaching out to that person and going, right, what is what would it cost for me to have you do zoom one on one with me? And if it's not tango, find another dance, find something else. Yeah, no, I, no, it doesn't have to be tango. Tango is what I miss, but it doesn't have to be tango that I do because I want to do that with a partner. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So what else? Uh, what else? What else? Um, well, yeah, I guess maybe one of the things I need to do is just accept that it's going to cost me and, and figure that out. Um, like I was thinking of Lorena, the, the therapist, I was thinking of her three or three weeks ago or so. And I just, I mean, that's a lot of money. And mm -hmm. especially if it's gonna be another six or seven weeks. And I So want... then finding a group situation would be cheaper. So this is the thing. One on one, the interaction you want one on one, it's 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 going to be expensive. The only other way you can get that energy and that vibe is to do the videos um, of groups or pre-recorded videos um, or you know find someone else who loves doing these pre-recorded videos too and then challenging each other and go right we're going to do this video tonight and I want to see a selfie of you at the end of the video you've got until nine o'clock tonight to get it done everyone in the group like you could even start a group you've got all these groups happening maybe put it out there and be like who would like to do accountability fitness sessions and then you guys put in the session in the chat and go right everyone has to do this fitness session sometime today you've got until 9 p.m to get it done and everyone has to submit a, a some kind of proof that you've done the thing that yeah. then creates your community because i have selected um lots and lots of videos and i have them on my computer and i have a i have my extra computer in my workout room and i have my mat set up and my great so so then trampoline and my how could you get it. on how could you get on some kind of avenue locally and create your own group a calendability at home group I, I just don't know how i could do that now sharna i'm i'm so wrapped up in toastmasters i mean that's one of the things i'm doing right now is trying to trying to set up my weekly thing where where i can buttonhole the 
um, Zoom meetings for for uh, Toastmasters only at certain times of the day because they just come, you know. I mean, I just got a, a what So then, okay, so, so you've got that. Okay, so that's going to happen. You know that's there. So now when that's done, go back in and go, where can I fit my fitness? Oh, yeah, you got I got fitness on here. I'm just, I'm just putting it. Between yep. three, between three and five, perfect. One, one hour between three and five every day. Yeah, I'm just perfect. putting it. I'm just right. putting it. That, so how I, can you create accountability with other people? Even when it's just one more person that you go, this is the workout we're going to do today. Boom, let's both get it done between three and four, or by five thirty. Submit a thing to each other to keep each other accountable. Yeah, I have one friend who is telling me that she's working out every morning. And, Great. Uh, so that might be the person to connect to and go, I need accountability. I need motivation and I need to buddy up with someone. Can we do that? Mm -hmm. What don't you buddy up with here and just do something where, whether you do the same workout, whether you just have a message that has to go to each other by a certain time. Yeah, probably the message. Cause I think she does hers in the morning and you know, I'm also looking for somebody that I'm probably going to end up paying um, to call me every day mm. because, because um, it's not about fitness. It's not about accountability. It's about health. Mm. And it's about um, the fact that I don't have any um, constant friends or family here. And if I fell over, um, it would be three or four days before anybody missed me. Great. I think me creating this WhatsApp chat will be another avenue to give you that too. Because yeah, you can do your voice messages in there and we can voice message each other and be like, having a shit day, having a great day, found this, what about this, what about that? And you send me emails with the most uh, yeah. beautiful things. <laughs> except, it, except that somebody has to call me. Uh, you know, I mean, if, if I don't, if I don't, if, the, if I don't hear from you, I mean, I talk to friends and they say, gee, I haven't heard from you for a couple of weeks. I, I've been thinking about you. Well, you know, what if I'd fallen and broken my leg or what if I died in my apartment or what if, I, you know, I mean. Well, the group chat know. would then facilitate that, I think, because we would all be checking in on each other constantly every week. That could right. be great. That could right. be great. Yeah. Yay! That gave me goosebumps. That feels good. <laughs> so in terms of what am I doing, I, I'm, I'm doing this schedule. And, cool. uh, when are you going to have that done? Tonight. Okay. Tonight. I've been, I've had it in my mind for probably six or eight days now. And Great. so I told Sage I was going to do it tonight and I've I've got it started. I'm doing laundry and trying to cook a stew and, you know, trying to do my chart. But it is also quite late. So I really want you to start looking at your chronobiology and looking at getting to bed at the right times and waking up at the right times. It's very important for an activator not to be up too late. Yes. Yes. You need it to is. start looking at that too. Okay. Then Boundaries I, for yourself. Then what's that? Boundaries for yourself. Yes. So I have down here, wake up at seven. I like to wake up at 630, but I put wake up at seven and go to bed at 11 and turn my computer off at 10. Is 11. Have you had a look at your PH 360 profile to see when it's recommended to start shutting down your time? Yeah, it says enjoy your evening, you know, and from eight to nine, relax and from nine to 10, no stimulus and from 10 right. to 11. So do you think that, and... so you might have a few tweaks that need to go in there, just a little bit more, just to tweak your schedule, just to have you shutting down a little bit earlier and getting a little bit more sleep. This is earlier because I'm generally 12.30. Mm, perfect. Okay. Well, that's good for now then. Let's tweak that a little bit later. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to get this group chat started. Shanae, it's a free app. You just download just it on download your... download it up. Amazing. <laughs> can you text me through your mobile number yeah i don't know how to create whatsapp i'm learning how to create a whatsapp group too so we'll we'll all bear we'll with learn each together other. yay <laughs> i will start the group and get everyone chatting 
Okay, before okay. you leave, can I share my screen? And yes. I'm trying to upload this, this photo. photo, and I've done it five times and it doesn't take. Go for it. Okay, let me see if... Select the window. Yep, so select the one that has the internet. Has Chrome on it. Yep. Okay. And then share. Okay, here. Now, so I've done, I've done this five times. And this keeps coming up. Before we continue, please upload your photo. Okay. okay. So I go upload image. Yep. And then I find the image, which is... Here, my fitness. Great. And have you got a front on photo? You can only do one photo. Have you got a front with photo? No, I want the side one. All right, cool, perfect. Yep, go for that one. Double click it. Double click. Nothing happens. So then I go back over. Oh, wait, what's that doing? Well, when I brought my, when I brought my, oh okay, arrow over it changed colors. You want me to click on upload image again? Try it. Just um, uh, it's it. Okay, I'm come on. back out of that. Come back out of that. Just um, hit the refresh button up the top. To come back at out the, of selecting a picture. At the top of what my screen? Or yep. Come back out of selecting a picture. Come down here. No, no, press cancel. Press cancel on selecting a picture. Yep. Now go to the top of the bar, you'll see the back arrow, and then beside the back arrow, I want you to go to refresh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Confirm. Continue. Well. It might just have timed out, or it might just have a glitch. If it doesn't okay. do it now, the next it's thing you can going around. Okay, now it's... Yeah. So if it doesn't do it this time, you'll need to email support and send them your photo and go, I'm trying to upload this. It's not uploading. Can you please upload it for me? Okay. So let me try one more time. Yeah. Upload image. Click once, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. And find the image. My fitness. Double click. Yep. Nada. It may be a setting. Try of going down to the bar where it says my fitness at the bottom and clicking on it because it's probably trying to download it. Just bring yeah, up the thing up. Double click, maybe? Well, it seems to be bringing up a bottom bar. I don't know why it's yeah. doing that. Uh, yeah, that one will have to be one for emailing support then. I'm not sure as to why that's not working. Just screenshot. Do you know how to screenshot your screen? No. Have you got a, uh, a Windows PC? Yeah. Yep. Uh, go down the bottom to your search bar and just type in clip, C-L-I-P, down the bottom what? of your computer. You should still be able to access your search, the computer bar. You mean this bar? I can't what? see that one now. Uh, this is taking the whole screen. That's this. fine. Oh, okay. Um, oh, here we go. I can do... <laughs> Control. PC screen, duplicate, extend. No, that's not what I want. Give me an opportunity. What's my shortcut? So if I email to support, to Willa, and yep. then I attach this picture to that email and yeah, say, just, please. Yeah, yeah, 
that you know. this to me? Yeah. Okay, so how do I get out of this? Let's see. I... You'll have to do that after this call. Yeah. Let me know how you go, um, but Willa will be the one to contact about to get that initiated. And and then I have done the how do you how are you feeling and the track your measurements and everything else. So when that's on there, then that day one, day two, day three should all come up, right? Should we want to try a different picture? Just just um, go back up to the upload for me, and just go upload any random picture from your picture section. Go upload. Just you know which picture you're using. For argument's sake, go into your pictures and just find a different picture. Just a picture of my face or something? Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering whether it was just the file document itself. Ah. There we go. So the picture might be saved in the wrong format. What is that? Oh, it's sideways. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Go down to the bottom now. So I think the other picture was saved in a different format, not in a picture format. JPEG. Mm. No. Any, that's okay. Scroll down your screen and go um, next or continue. Yay. Ah, there it is. Okay, so I can do without the picture, right? And I mean, there, I have... you have it, you, you know what it is. And there is a workout for you. Where? Right there, that first thing, click it. This? Yep, click it. Tomorrow, I would like to know when you have done that workout. Double leg bounce. All right, drop and bounce. Cool, so press pause. Uh, cool, press the X at the top corner. Okay, right. can I go to day one? Can yep, I do yes on that one? Can I do yesterday's? Day See what I have suggested for you for yesterday. So you can explore that now. I would like, it's the same one there. So um, I would like to know when you've done that tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I'm supposed awesome. to tell um, Sage tomorrow that I did this. Yep. And also, okay, but I don't know how to tell Sage, so I have to tell you. I will create the group chat tonight. So by the time you get up tomorrow, you there will be a group chat. Okay. Well, that would be a different group chat than the, so you're going to set up two group chats? The one that you and I have is different, and then they're going to have a full group chat for everybody. Okay, you and I and Sage are going to have one? Uh, no, 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 we're going to create a group one for everybody who's in the group coaching right now. So, Ch Shanae, Katie, you, everyone okay. that was on the other call. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Thank Go team. You. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, it's I'm a so sleep. happy to have these days. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Love Shanae. you guys. Uh, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Good night.